First, I started playing with Duke Jenkins in Canton. They did supper clubs, you know, in Canton, around the Canton area. Uh, I played with them until they came to Akron, and they played up here on uh, uh, Main Street. Yeah, I probably built Howard Street. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I played down there probably more than anybody around, you know, that's that's where I played mostly. There were several clubs down there. There was Benning Rivers and there was the High Heck and the APS Club. And, you know, and believe it or not, pe people came from, from uh, out of town to just over here to come down to Howard Street because there's so much going on down there. You know? I'd go down there and just sit around and listen because I, I, didn't, I didn't dance. They had a lot of dancing going on, you know. <laughs> And I would just listen to the music. I'd sit over on the side and listen to all the music, you know. Oh, gee, there was Count Basie and just, just everybody came. Cootie Williams. Yeah, Cootie Williams. Yeah, everybody came. Billy Holiday. Yeah, just anybody you can think of. And so that's how we got into those spots because a lot of people did not come in, but they had gambling in the back, you know, and that supported the place. So we were just out there free to play whatever we wanted. And a lot of guys, musicians, would come from the south side out there for sessions, you know. Uh, after I played with Duke first at the Brass Rail, uh, I went with Demon. And then we found out that it was uh, Capone's organization that owned all these facilities that we were playing in. Al Capone, yeah, all the way out Montana, Kansas. Um, I would never go south any further than Oklahoma. That was enough for me. As far as I'm concerned, I don't like traveling. I get tired of it. I hate it. You know, I lived out of a suitcase, man, for too many years, and it brought great unhappiness. <laughs> you know. I mean, I was playing with some good cats, you know. I don't really know what happened. I know it was sort of like an urban renewal and they just started shutting everything down, you know. But it uh, didn't take too long, though, actually. Once they started shutting down, and then they, they built, uh, I think when the expressway came through, they, they went up here, you know, it just wiped out everything. They had a, that was in the works for quite some time. And once they got started on that, man, it just, there wasn't any, it just took everything out. So it just ruined it. Wow. Cut all the jazz away. 